Hello everyone, this is Tatiana from Journal Time with T. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. It's great to have you all. I wanted to get on and instead of doing a plan with me, um, I know I didn't do a plan with me last weekend either, but I wanted to show you what planner system that I'm switching to because I have decided to switch planner systems a month into 2022 which is fine. I figured it was going to happen sooner or later. Um, so I'm going to take you a quick walk through on what my current setup is and my standard that I'll be switching out of and then show you all what I'm switching into. So right now I have the standard traveler's notebook um, that I'm using as my everyday carry. In This is housed in the Mystic Little Gifts and company earth leather with the reinforced spine on it and it's got brown stitching and brown elastic which I did replace the elastic um, the elastic that came with it I didn't care for it was it wasn't thick enough for me so I bought new elastic and switched it out and then I just added this cute little button charm to it so this is what I'm carrying right now and right now it currently houses um, one of these zipper pouches, I think I got this one from Amazon like forever ago, um, and it's got some of the, the Kita Washi tape in it that I actually received from my friend in Japan, uh, it's, and it's got a picture of me and all of our kitties. It's got a sticker book that I made myself with some stickers in it. The second insert here is a Tomoe River paper insert that I use as my everyday journal slash diary, you know, whatever you want to call it. And it's almost done and I'm looking forward to it being done because for some reason, and I'll explain in a little bit why, but I love this notebook. I'm just almost happy. I'm happy that it's almost done. <laughs> um, the third insert is just a... 2022 monthly calendar nothing fancy I've just been using it to track um like birthdays and appointments and stuff that I have so nothing fancy there and I this one I got from uh creative tidbits on Etsy so I can link them below if I remember hopefully I remember <laughs> um and this last insert that I've been using as like my bullet journal I guess this is like my daily planner is a half year A5 Stalogy that was cut down to standard size um, and I bought this off Etsy as well and I'll link them below and it's currently housed in a Lauren Phelps design plastic cover Oops, and I got it because I liked all of the pockets in it because I like carrying um, pictures with me and stuff and so this I've been using as like a just a weekly planner I guess um, I set it up a week in advance and I have been doing two days on each page so each page gets two days on it and I've been writing mostly my to do's my appointments um, and then I write like little tidbits that happen during the day nothing too fancy I was journaling in it in the past um, but I decided that I didn't care for that anymore. And I wanted to do it in a separate journal, which is why I started journaling in this one. And as much as I absolutely love this system, I love the cover, I love everything about this. I'm kind of, I've kind of been at a stage recently that it's just overwhelming, I guess, to have like this is one book for me like yes there's four different books in here but it's in one cover so this to me is considered like one book right but for some reason my brain has been telling me like that these are all individual and it's just overwhelming like I don't want all of these separate I want them all in one book or at least my planning I want my planning to be in one place like the monthlies the weeklies the dailies all in one place. I want it all in one book. So I am switching 
out of the standard for my everyday and moving <laughs> you guessed it probably back into an a5 i told you at the beginning of the year that this was probably going to happen sooner or later i uh, actually expected to go back into my giovanni from the shik sparrow but i uh, i have only the traveler's notebook version of it and the thought of it was kind of overwhelming because i didn't want so many little notebooks to worry about i just wanted one so this notebook is i was told it was a mo term when i bought it i found it off of uh, one of my facebook buy sell trade groups that i'm in but it doesn't have like that mo term tag in it that you usually see in like the back pocket area over over here but I like it either way because it's set up exactly like the Moterm and just look at this beautiful color. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but it's almost like a dark teal and it is absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with this cover already. So let me just take you kind of on a tour of what I'm planning on doing in this for my planning. <laughs> planning on doing for my planning. <laughs> Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> um, so I bought a half year A5 Stalogy and it's currently in one of those Midori plastic covers. I got both of these off Amazon. I can link them below. Um, but this, I, I didn't get the 365 and I normally do because the 365, I, I already have one started. Let me see if I can get it pulled out. So I already have a 365 started that I was doing and I've realized with things that I get about halfway through, I'm roughly halfway through this A5 365 and I don't know if I get overwhelmed or if I get bored or maybe a combination of the two, but I stop. Like, and I have an, <laughs> I have an A6 one um, that I used earlier last year, I believe it was, that's like three quarters of the way done and I only have like that much left of my a6 and I, I won't go back and use it I just I don't there's something about it I don't know if I like I said I don't know if I get overwhelmed because it's such a big notebook or what so I decided to opt for the half year stalogy because for the purpose that I'm using it for it should work just fine um I don't currently have anything in the pockets right now like oh I lied I do so it does have the big pocket back here. Um, this will actually house the little sticker book that I currently have in my standard. I'm just gonna slip that back there. It fits perfect. Um, don't have anything in here. I have some sticker sheets in here that I plan on using. Um, I can try and link them. I know these ones were, I believe, were from Five Below. I bought these in person, and I think all of these were from Amazon but I've had them for forever, so I'll try and find the links, but I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> um, nothing in this pocket here. I don't have anything in these pockets yet, um, but I did switch over some of my payday stickers and just some random stickers that I'd like to use at some point in time. And just a little kitty die cut in the back here because I thought it matched, oh, excuse me, because I thought it matched the cover really nicely because it's like a, the, you know, the bluish purple color. And I don't have anything in here. Yeah. So I've already got it set up um, for next week because I'll, I'll finish out the week in my standard before switching into my A5. And um, I'm still working on some pages. So I've got like some random sticky notes somewhere. Like I want to do something for a cover page here. And I'm still debating what I want to do here. If I want to do like a year in pixels, um, maybe a vision board, I'll figure something out. But what I've done is I'm going to house the monthlies and the weeklies all in this book. So everything is all together, all in one place. And I went through and I drew out and I decorated. I don't know how well you can see this. Let me see. Okay. Nope. You can see it pretty good. I went through and I uh, drew out and decorated all of the monthly spreads already because the blank page was kind of getting a little overwhelming. 
already. <laughs> um, but I went through and I decorated, and honestly, a lot of this is heavily inspired by um, the theory of Lauren on Instagram because she uses she uses the 365 A5 Stylogy for hers, um, but it's kind of based off the same process. She's got all of her monthlies in one, all of her weeklies in one. Um, hers, she uses the bigger size with hers because she like does notes and stuff in the back for like schooling and therapy. And I, I'm not in school and I'm not currently in any therapy, so I don't need to have that extra space. I, I know I'll have extra space in this notebook probably because it's 198 pages and I only plan on doing like a week, you know, a week on two pages. So I know I'll be left over with pages, but that's okay. So I've gone through and got my monthlies all set up and I've got a little tab here um, just to differentiate like where the monthlies start. And then I actually just dove. So it goes from December and then I dove right into my weeklies. Kind of wish I hadn't done this. Um, I kind of wish I had saved these two pages for something else. Like maybe put like the February cover page here or something. but. I'll know that for next month. I've got plenty of space in this notebook and I've got plenty of time to worry about it. Like it's not anything that's like gonna make me not wanna use this notebook, you know? So this is kind of how my weeklies will be set up. Um, I just kind of went for super easy to start off with. Um, I've been looking up ideas on Pinterest and everything uh, and found some great ideas that I could do because I'm not very artistic. <laughs> I can't draw or doodle to like save my life. So I wanted to go super, super easy. And I found some spreads that are super, super easy and I wanted to start off really easy. So all I did was divide the page into four sections. Uh, so I was left over with the one extra section down here that I just kind of decorated a little with some Happy Planner stickers and washi. I don't know how well you can see it, but I just put a little sticker there that says, Make Today Fun. I thought it was a nice little reminder. But, uh, so yeah. And I will kind of do the same thing like I was doing in my standard size, but it's going to be on a little bit of a smaller scale because before I was splitting the pages in half, and they were still kind of big. These ones are gonna be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna try and play around with my little like emoji stickers a little bit more when I plan because I love using them. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing the week on two pages throughout. And I think when I hit like the next month, I might do a little cover page and maybe I'll do like a little monthly recap on one of the pages or something. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and have fun with it. I'm not gonna pressure myself too much. But I like that it's a smaller notebook because it's only the half year. And I like that my monthlies are gonna be in with my weeklies because I don't plan I only plan appointments and stuff with these. I actually have another monthly calendar that I've set up in an A5 that I use for finances. And I don't put my finances and my like appointments and stuff together because I've tried doing that in the past and it just confused the heck out of me. So I've, I'm done doing that. <laughs> my finances have their own separate notebook that has everything in there, their own separate planner. And then I have my planner for my personal stuff. But yeah. So I really like it. I really like the simplicity of it. And most importantly, I think part of a part of my reason for wanting to switch out of the Travelers, the standardized Travelers notebook is because it doesn't lie flat, which I didn't think was going to bother me as much as it has. Like this notebook lies completely flat right now as it is. Whereas this notebook, my standard, if I want to write in it, It doesn't and I have to like fight it I have to like you know hold it down and if I want to write I have to you know hold it down or I have to take it out and even then this notebook doesn't lay flat on its own but that could be because I had to take the the binding of it but so you may be asking because I still plan on journaling so I, I plan on finishing this 
the standard insert out. I'm going to do it until it's finished because my goal is to finish one notebook this year. That is my goal, to finish at least one notebook this year all the way through because <laughs> I haven't done that, I feel like, in ages. So this is going to be the one notebook that I finish is my journaling notebook. And once this is done, I'm not actually going to put it in with this system anymore. I'm going to carry the standard notebook with me in this cover until I finish it. But then I have an A5-365 notebook that I will be switching into for my journaling once my standard size is done. And it's kind of for the reasons why I just said. I It lies flat. <laughs> it lies flat when I, when I write. Whereas the other one I have to fight to lay flat. And I love using my fountain pens and the ink smears so easy that if it's not lying flat and I accidentally touch it, it just smears all over the place. And I'm not about that. So I will switch to this as my journal once my standard is complete. And this is in the Mystic Little Gifts and Company Raven Leather, which is between these two leathers... I mean, it's it's almost a tie, but the Raven, I think, is my absolute favorite, and this is, like, a close second to my absolute favorite. They're, they're both amazing letters. They both have amazing qualities about them. And uh, I had added the elastic to it after I got it because it didn't come with an elastic. And then I got this little closure from um, Bassey and Company on Instagram or on Etsy, excuse me, not Instagram. And that's also where I got this little green pouch from was the same company that did these two. So yeah, so this is what I will be using starting next week as my planner is this beautiful cover with my A5 half year Stalogy in it. And I'll deck it out a little bit. I'll probably put some stuff in the pockets, like find little pretty pretties to put in the pockets. Um, I'm going to move the sticker book out of here as well as my journal out of here and just keep them with this cover. Um, the sticker book I'll put back here. And actually, let me show you, because even with the sticker book and the, oops, and the other notebook in here, it still lies really flat. So the sticker book... I'm going to stick right back here and even still like look at look at how it's it still lies flat and then my journal I'm just gonna stick with the cover it's not gonna be in anything I'm literally just gonna carry it around like this and it still latches it's getting a little chunky but it won't be for long because then, like like I said, once I finish this notebook out, my standard, I'm going to switch into this A5. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Uh, I feel relieved almost, I guess, in a weird way to be switching back to the A5. I, I don't know. There's something about the A5 that always draws me back. I know I will go back into my standard again this year. I know I will. Um... And that's why I love the blank notebooks, because I can stop this week, you know, stop on Sunday. And then whenever I decide to pick this back up again, I can just whoop, pick it right back up on the next blank page. That's what I love about a blank notebook. So, and look at how well these covers go together. Like, just, mm, chef's kiss. Like, these go together amazingly, these two covers do. So yeah, I just wanted to let you show you and let you know what my new planning system setup is going to be for, I'm hoping for a, a few months at least this time, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to be sticking in my journal until I finish it out. So this, this probably will not change for the whole year until I complete this, which there's so many pages in it, so it's going to take me forever to, to complete it. Um, but I'm hoping to at least stay in my A5 for a few months before I switch back out again. And I just added that little sticker on there. I forgot to show you. I found it on Pinterest and it's got four little kitties and a little girl. And it just reminded me of me with my four kitties. So I stuck that on there. <laughs> I printed it out with my Canon Ivy and stuck that on there. 
All right. Well, I think that's it for today. So thank you all for joining. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on where I got anything, um, like stickers or anything like that, and I don't have it linked in the description box, let me know in the comments and I'll try to find the link for you. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for stopping by. Bye, everyone.